native plants are more popular than ever and there's plenty of reasons why. Now a lot of them are tough, dry tolerant plants, but many also flower during the cooler months, which is exactly when our gardens need a lift. The native hibiscus is one of the showiest Australian plants around. It's an evergreen shrub to around two metres and boasts brilliant purple hibiscus-like flowers from spring to summer. It's a top plant for dry climates and proof that water-wise gardens can be full of colour. It's a fast-growing shrub, so prune after flowering to keep it nice and compact. The dwarf varieties of Acacia cognata are worth growing for their form alone, with mounds of lush green foliage even in the driest garden. Once established, they require very little maintenance and water. They make lovely rockery features and look superb en masse. They're also perfectly suited to pots on the patio and love to soak up the sun. Tip prune to keep them looking good and feed once a year with a slow release native fertiliser. When the cold hits, corias are a welcome sight in the garden. They display pretty tubular flowers which are enticing to the birds and require little water or attention. Grow them in pots, as loose hedges or among other plants in the cottage garden. The new wave of Dianellas are showy, need virtually no water and they come in a sea of foliage colours. They're compact plants, perfect for edging, borders, paths or driveways and look spectacular en masse in an easy care garden. They relish both sun or shade and once they've got their roots firmly in the ground, will survive on natural rainfall. Among the native climbers, Hardenbergias steal the show with evergreen foliage and flamboyant floral displays through winter and spring. They flower best in full sun and come in shades of pink, purple and white. Use them to hide a fence or decorate an arbour. Prune regularly after flowering for more even foliage colour. Agonis burgundy makes a real statement in pots and garden beds with these brilliant flushes of new burgundy growth and a striking weeping form. From spring onwards, the branches are laden with masses of white flowers. It's another great bird attracting screen and a top choice for coastal gardens. Agonis After Dark is another alluring variety with deep maroon foliage. Robin Gordon stands out among the grevilleas for its masses of pinky red flowers that just keep on coming. It's a fast growing evergreen shrub to two to three metres tall with bright green foliage so it makes a perfect bird attracting screen or border. Clip it back to promote dense foliage and lots of flowers. Payne's thryptamine is striking in winter and spring, smothered in tiny pink flowers. It blooms sporadically throughout the year too, and holds its own through hot, dry conditions. It's a great choice for the Aussie cottage garden with gorgeous weeping foliage. Native rosemary is tough, reliable and attractive. Now it looks wonderful planted en masse, but it also takes well to pruning, which means it makes a great hedge or screen. The leaves are covered in fine hairs, which gives the plant a silvery appearance, but also protects against drought and sea spray. The flowers are white or mauve, depending on the variety, and appear largely in late spring, though flowers can be seen through most of the year. The Albany Woolly Bush is a dry garden gem with foliage so soft you could hug it. Bright orange tubular flowers are displayed throughout the year and contrast with the grey green foliage. Grow it in a sunny or partly shaded spot and prune it after flowering to keep it nice and compact. It's an ideal bird attracting screen. So there you have it, some inspiration and information to pass on to your customers to encourage them to walk out the door with some top water wise natives.